that in fourth grade, um, Raymond Mayfield um, was the class bully. <laughs> and you remember <laughs> his name to this day. <laughs> no doubt. And I've Google searched him many times to figure out what his fate has been, mm -hmm. you know, secretly hoping that it was bad, but probably <laughs> I would discover that he also turned out to be a gay guy and was, you know, reacting to his, you know, fate or lot in life um, by being a bully. At any rate, in fourth grade, for a, a, a period of several months, Raymond Mayfield would tell me in like second class, he said, I'm going to beat you up today. And he and I was like, OK. Um, and he said, OK, I'm going to meet you on the corner and I'm going to beat you up after school. And this happened for months. Mm. Wow. Um, and then finally, you know, it got so I, I didn't want to go tell anyone. I, I, I was too proud to do that. Finally, I told my mom. And, you know, I love my mom dearly. You'll get, you'll get this over and over in this interview. Um, she stood up for me. She went over to Raymond Mayfield's house, talked to his parents, um, and, and, and got back the like radio thing that he had stolen from me mm -hmm. on one of these particular occasions. And after that, I was so humiliated that I said to her, I'm too embarrassed to go to school. Um, and she said, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to go look at buildings. Um, and she said, okay, where? I said, well, I want to go see Greenway Plaza. I want to go see the Galleria. I want to go see Pennzoil Place. And I rattled off, I was in fourth grade, you know, so that would make me what, like nine? Yeah. <laughs> um, I rattled off all of these recent buildings that had been built in Houston by architects like Philip Johnson and, um, you know, um, HOK. I mean, these were not mm -hmm. huge names, but Gordon Bunchap did a building in Houston that I went to see. Um, of course, Mies did the, the Museum of Fine Art, although that wasn't really in my radar at the time. But it was more that I just wanted to see the city just booming. And, um, and so for two weeks, she took me out of school <laughs> and we drove around in her big old fat old Cadillac um, <laughs> and went to see all the buildings in Houston. Um, and, you know, I taught her what I, what little I knew about them. Mostly I was just excited to, um, to witness these things. Um, and of course I was excited to finally be out of Raymond Mayfield's <laughs> sight. I mean, you know, one thing I'll say just to add on is, you know, a lot of the things that we do with passion come out of a place of fear. This is huh. this is just my assertion. I, you know, this yeah, is not yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. this is not like you know reading you know philosophy and and reciting it. It's simply sort of understanding where you know my passions came from. First, you know, with with building and drawing and designing, and then later with music, which was also an avoidance tactic. I mean, I love music and love it still, um, but i and I, I ran cross country you know i ran cross country because i i knew that's how i could and i could i just wouldn't stop running people were like oh my god you're so great you have this home, so much stamina i'm like yeah because i don't want the people to catch up to me i don't want to get beaten up right. um, and like all of these things were ways i think that i was sort of fleeing um mm -hmm. my conditions um and and trying to to do so, to, to make something positive out mm -hmm. of them so the other thing i'll say about you know the shift away from like houses, which I was really interested in as a kid, they were being built in my neighborhood all around me. I would tour them and they were balloon frame construction was that my cousin um, and his family were incredibly jet set. They were also in the oil industry, but they were doing international oil industry. So they'd be on a plane, a Pan Am 747, <laughs> going to Singapore. Or, and I was insanely jealous of my cousin and his life insanely and so i started to try to understand a, the kind of international um globalism or globalism uh that was taking place then and i was trying to become my cousin too you know and felt like oh, geez i'm just a little you know i hadn't been on a plane ever you know and um and there he was flying on pan am 747s um and so, it, you know, all of these things are, in a way, built around a notion of fear. 
Um, and, and it's not to say that there isn't ambition, but I think the starting point was trying to overcome something that, that, you know, wasn't working in my life. If I had been a happy, contented kid, even with an innate ability to envision and draw, I'm not sure I would have become the architect that I am today. One of the things that I think we're always thinking about, especially because we interview a lot of people, is 